Good morning. I am Dr. Jyoti Kumar. Today we will discuss about the topic scheduler in operating system. We have uh, three types of uh, scheduler. One is a uh, short term scheduler, other one is a uh, long term scheduler, other one is a uh, mid term scheduler. Here uh, we can call the short term scheduler as a CPU scheduler, and uh, here we can call uh, a long term scheduler as a job scheduler. Here uh, in short term scheduler, uh, it, it selects which process should be executed next and uh, allocate the CPU. It's short term scheduler. And, and uh, coming to the long term scheduler, uh, it selects which process should be brought into the ready queue. We can term it as long term scheduler. We discussed about a uh, uh, five state process model uh, in the previous uh, uh, class. In five state process model, we have uh, uh, five states new, uh, ready, running, um, termination, and then waiting state. Here, new is actually a process uh, that was uh, um, created and uh, this new process is admitted to the ready state. So when a new process uh, which is admitted to the ready state, we can term it as a long term scheduler or it, can, it is called as a job scheduler because it selects the process should be brought into the ready queue. A new process which is ready in a new state and it is brought into the ready queue. In that case, we can term it as a long term scheduler. Coming to the short term scheduler, it's, it's actually a CPU scheduler. Um, we know uh, we have um, each process uh, in a ready queue. That means we, if it is a queue, we have n number of process in a ready queue. Uh, each process, uh, and we need to allocate the time for each process in the CPU. If, if a process is going to move from ready queue to the running state, then we can term it as short term scheduler because we are allocating a cpu for a particular process from from the um, from the ready queue to the running state so we can term it as a short term scheduler that's what they represent it as select which process should be executed next and allocate the cpu we are allocating a processor for a particular process for the execution and here we have uh, something called as a process can uh, describe as either uh, io bound process or cpu bound process Spending more time during an I.O. operation than the computation process, we can term it as I.O. bound process. Or if it is a CPU bound process, spending more time during the computation than the during the computation than the input of the operation. And I'm coming to the uh, midterm scheduler, uh, here uh, this is a more important uh, uh, thing. We have a swapping technique in midterm scheduler. We can add a degree of multiprogramming needed to decrease, removing the process from the memory. Right, removing the process from the memory simply, if, if, or you you know, uh, we have a uh, the process is in the progress in the processor, and if there is a prioritized process which is allocated, then the process which is running in the CPU is going to move out, or it is going to swap out, and then the prioritized process is going to get get in. The particular processor. So the swap out process is again moved to the ready queue. Right? It's partially executed process is going to swap out and it is again get swap into the ready queue. This is what actually ready queue means it is a ready state. So the swap out process uh, uh, is going to move out and it is going to get in through the ready queue. So, so this is actually uh, and uh, this is uh, what we say. And we have one more thing when this is about process from the CPU, it may it, it may request an input output operation and this input output operation was done, then it is again moved to the ready queue for make it ready to move to the CPU. So in both the cases, okay, uh, this CPU is going to swap out when a prioritized process is given. So one is moved to the um, waiting state, the other one is moved to the ready state. This one we can term it as a suspended wait and we can term it as suspended ready. So this operation we can term it as this wrapping operation okay from CPU uh, again to the register and then coming back to the CPU. This wrapping support operation is, we can term it as midterm scheduling. Thank you.